I'll be calling you a radical. So this story is developing. So I've been on the phone all night, all morning. That's Idaho right there, right up the road. So where this happened, my place, that's my place. I know these guys. I've been on the phone talking to all kinds of people up there. So ABC's reporting now nationally, these fucking lion scumbags that the fire department was called. I know that for a fact. So it wasn't just a rupture now. This is how they play. I knew it. I knew it when I saw it. I'm like, oh, this is a fucking big story. This is exactly how Whip played out. Now this is a, hear me out. You know, you fanny fucking goats say, oh, why are you screaming? Yelling? Why the fuck aren't you screaming and yelling? This shit kills you dead. My lifelong best friend, Paul, who and I, I mean, we met on the basketball court when we were eight. Dated the same girls, went to the same school, did everything together. We got cancer at the same time. He was born at Arco right there at Atomic City. Oh, people up there know, they know. These people have a long history of freaking incredible lies. Incredible lies. I mean, that's where the first nuclear reactor in the world's at. The very first one's there. Remember what the first, they, look, you talk to anybody up there at Atomic City, whatever, when they had to peel the guy off the ceiling. They tried to cover that up. They tried to lie. This is playing out again. Now, this is really important. They're saying now, ABC's reporting that three firemen had to be scrubbed. Now, if that's the fucking case, oh, it's just a sludge barrel. You know what those fucking sludge barrels are? You got any fucking clue? Now, hear me out. <laughs> you got me ringing hell's bells. That's irony. I was up there protesting the day they start restarted the nuclear testing. They restarted the testing. Now, that day I used that term because ACDC for our electricity. It's not for our electricity. That's, these reactors aren't there for electricity. That's the day Malcolm Young died. You got me, you got us ringing hell's bells. You're on the fucking highway to hell. I mean, this is a big story. This is developing just like Hanford. They think when Hanford collapsed, they lied, they lied, they lied, they lied, right? That's all they do is fucking lie. I've been trying to tell people, they have this narrative written before it comes out. So I talked to them up there. The, that a fucking full blown out fire. Now listen, I'm gonna post a video right in the top of this tag. That's in November, I'm up there. I get, I mean, fuck, you ought to see security all over me. I'm on my own up there. Nobody will even hold the fucking camera. Those people the whole camera were just passing by, just happened to stop. They were just stopping to take a picture by the Idaho sign. They didn't even know that what it was. I'm like, will you hold the camera for me? Yeah. I mean, you baked potatoes. Literally, you've been nuked. This is a developing story. I understand. Now, why is this so important? Well, it's important just for the fact what they did to these three firemen. It's outrageous. I mean... And I'm sure it's a hell of a lot more than three. That's what right on their skin. Just remember, have, oh, just go wash it off. You ain't washing it off. And by the way, it's in the other. Now, remember when I did the video, they got the young cougar that was shot right there. And he had the fangs growing out of the back of his head. Oh, the very real, very real stuff. So, you know, Barry Antoinette Obama, this is the head of the snake. Now, Cynthia, now hear me out. I know Cynthia. She's head of the NRC right now. Idaho National Lab. New Scale, Oregon, Idaho National Lab. This is the scam it is. They got a grant for these little nuke reactors, Kenwood, Kenwood uh, Financial. They were later discovered that Kenwood Financial was a Ponzi scheme. SEC found them guilty, went to prison. This is the original money that New Scale little reactors got. Reyes, Reyes, these, they're criminals. The, she's in on it. Now think about it. She's head of the NRC, National Lab. Now this happened there. She's head of the NRC. She works there. She's friends with all these people. She's covering it up. She's a criminal. She's worse than Allison McFarlane and her criminal derelict. I'm the only one that goes out. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I know this is way over most of your head, kids. Fuck. I'm so burned out and tired. I need some financial backing. I got to get to Oregon. I got to get to Vienna. I got a whole bunch of shit I got to get fucking done. You know, support this cause or run along. I mean, I'm willing to do all the fucking dirty work and I do do it. But if not, move along. I mean, I don't care about view count. I don't care about it. Run along. You know, I don't need pats on the fucking back. Now hear me out. This is really important. This is criminal as fuck. The NRC nuclear rally cheerleaders. So the consent-based hearings. So the DOE come out and says, fuck, nobody wants it. You know, of course, dirty fucking Herbie. Governor just gave a fucking bell out to 
Energy Solutions. They were they were out of here. They were out of here. And he fucking says, oh, and by the way, his father died of had a bone marrow transplant diet. He told me right to his face. He would to my face that he went. Cecil Andrews, the ex governor of Idaho that I worked with, fantastic. He fought him. We have laws in Idaho. We have laws. They're overriding the law. Obama started this shit. So the DOE has what they call consent based hearings. I I traveled around the country and went to them. The one in where I go out, Allison Farr, and she didn't know I'd be there. Oh, you should have seen her. She snuck out of the fucking back door because the only reason she sure, oh, fuck, I get a free trip to fucking Southern California. I could take the kids to fucking Disneyland. So Mike and Gary, this is Sin and Offrey, Sin and Offrey. Mike and Gary cry. Oh, they won't come to Southern California. They're only going to Sacramento. They're going to Boise, Idaho. They're going to Minnesota. Oh, they won't come. Daryl, how nice is they invented Daryl Isis. He cried, oh, they won't come. They're like, we'll come. And they came full blown out. They had everybody there was. Why? Because you could take the kids to Disneyland. Paige, you should see where they stay. At the Omni? $400 a night? Not me. I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag protesting. Full of cancer. You think about that. So I go off on her. She, I mean, I caught them off guard. I'm the only person that's really called this out in detail. Into their face. I'm willing to do this dirty work. <laughs> so... They put a bill through in Idaho. They mask it all over. Nobody in Idaho knows. I says, you know you consented. Like a passed out freaking Stanford co-ed behind a dumpster they consented. Same in New Mexico. They say they've consented in Texas. So they bought a hole in Texas right next to Carlbat. Whip, whip, what's whip? So whip right here. Right around the corner is Peterson Fabrication. I went to school, high school with all the guys. They make the containers for the nuclear waste. It blew up a whip. I'm the, I reported it right here from the water school business inside the building. I reported it from there. <laughs> they lied. They lied. Oh, it's just a salt talk. Just like this. Just like this. They're lying. Oh, just. And here's fucking Panty Painter fucking Utah willing to give their own death. Channel 4 is the only one that reports it. Good news. I, I've been going off on all those guys. Oh, it just ruptured. What the fuck are you reporting shit like that? You know, everybody should be screaming and yelling like I fucking do. This is a big developing story. Why? Look. So the waste. At the exact simultaneous lie, a reporter in Carson City, Nevada, of all places, I found it, pinned down a guy at the DOE. And he says, you really going to start transporting? Because I sent these guys, I found FOIA documents right here in West 12th Street in Utah. They fucking burying it out here. I mean, you got to dig, but you can find it. It's hard. All these guys are FOIA documentary researchers. They all quit. I'm on my own. So I found it that say, yeah, we're fucking planning on transporting the fucking waste all over California, Diablo Canyon, San Onofre, Livermore, Humboldt, all their old reactors, Trojan, all of them. We're going to send them to Idaho National Lab for weapons because Idaho has consented. They have not consented. It's a fucking lie to nuclear weapons test it, which they're doing. You can look at the video. You can see. You, what's the odds of me? You got it. It's ringing hell's bells. And me can't, you can see the smoke in the background. That's the lab. That's it. <laughs> wow, what fucking timing I have. So then he comes out and he confirms it with this kid and says, yes, we're going to then we're going to put it deep in the cavern in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Now, I know for a fact, I'm the first one to report this. Carlsbad, New Mexico has a major expansion going on at WIP. Major, giant. They spent $2 billion. They got it reopened. They're bringing the... Remember the Mox Fuel fairy tale? I was on the hill and spoke. That started out as $450,000. It's $29 billion in South Carolina. The fairy tale. The DOE, the corrupt bastards, they go and do an investigation. Chicago Bridge and Iron, Arriva, the French company, who joined to build that freaking nightmare, which... Consulted by Westinghouse, which was to Sheba. Oh, bankrupt, 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 and you just bail them out. These CEOs making hundreds of millions of dollars, just throbbing you, and you, you give them money to kill you. They go and investigate and say, Savannah River is only 28% complete. You've billed the United States taxpayer for 78%. These are patently false statements, which means fraud, 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 fraud. General Electric. Now, they report on fuck money. They're going to miss earnings. And you guys that made all the money shorting Chicago Bridge, and they fuck, throw me a bone. I mean, fuck, come on. You made fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Fuck it, please. 
That's fraud. Why no investigation? Why no SEC? The General Electric's on investigation by the SEC. The SEC won't report that. They had to report it. They're criminals. This whole industry is fucking so criminal. It's unreal. So that's what they say they're doing. So they've been bringing the mox fuel back. They got nowhere to put it. Remember it was in Japan? Number three was plump full mox fuel. So was five and six. So was Diani. I have a picture of a mudslide through fucking Diani. I have underground pictures that are classified. I can't put out. I have the transcript from the Situation Room because I'm the only one reporting this. So anybody was anybody was fucking leaking me everything. I took so much fucking chance, full of cancer. I had some political cover because I was full of leukemia. You know, I had open heart surgery this fucking year. I mean, I was a millionaire. It devastated me. Yet I'm willing to do all this dirty. This is a big, this shit causes cancer and kills you. Don't you understand? The atomic veterans in fucking the Nevada test site prove that fucking this shit kills you dead. They all died. Fuck, you're talking fucking 60,000 of them. Human lab rat killed it. The government data's out there. I have it. I can give it to you. I can send you links. USS Reagan fucking said 32 ships sent in. The first kid fucking in reporting from Fukushima, Japan. Oh, I work at INL in Idaho. I live in Art. What the fuck are you doing in Fukushima, Japan? <laughs> I mean, hello. Hello. This is a major fucking developing story. I'm not right up there fucking here this afternoon. Or tomorrow. I mean, I'm exhausted. I'm trying to handle these Oregon. The epic collapse of the fucking Pacific salmon are your proof. The Chinook salmon go to sea for five years. I says, record returns, 2013, 14, 15. They will crash. And I think it's irony that these salmon are born right there at Idaho National Lab. I grew up steelhead fishing there. That's where they're born. I mean, I'm on sake of the force. My grandfather. That's him. That's the guy. <laughs> I grew up there. My mom just passed away, born and raised in lava, right there. That's our place, right there, where you go out and have your family reunions on the turn by the golf course. That house with the wagon wheels on, that's my grandparents' house, right there. Paul dies? Fuck, I mean, you wouldn't believe how many people in the bone marrow transplant at LDS I'm with that are from Arco, Idaho. They've been leaking all over for years. They have a long history. This, this is a big developing story. This is just like whip. And where are all you activists? I was talking to fucking Patrick Glass. Where are they at? And he says, you're it. I'm like, no shit. I really am it. I mean, I appreciate the keyboard activism. We need it. We need you guys to spread this around. But fuck, if I'm going to do all this fucking dirty work, at least support me. You know, fuck. I got a mortgage to pay. I got fucking a life to fuck. Well, I did have a life until fucking Fukushima. I've learned to live half a fucking life. Major developing story here. I'm probably right up there this afternoon. Fucking. I've been on the phone with them. There was a full blown out explosion of fucking fire. Now, they're, they think they're bringing, well, they're going to bring it because the, the Patriot Act gives them carte blanche. And a Senate offer, oh, do you fuckers. Oh, I'm so sick of that fucking, I'm the one that got Senate offer shut down. I'm the one that leaked, they had the scram. I'm the one that leaked the fucking, they had the fucking meltdown. I'm the one that packed the house with 1,200 fucking people full of cancer with a central line. I mean, I had hundreds of people coming up to me wanting my picture taken. I'm the guy that fucking snuck in there and leaked the fucking fake union workers, Joni Ray and I. I'm the one that did all the work, and I was just fresh out of the bone marrow transplant. All the other doctors says, don't even go. Fimbo says, go. By the way, I'm going to go see Vincent here in the next few days to save me. I mean, what a story. What a fucking story. The two doctors that saved my life are both anti-nukers. And one from Copenhagen, one Danish philosophy. They're Danes like me. Danish fucking something rotten in the new Denmark here. I mean, somebody should sit down and fucking do a narrative with me. I mean, fuck, I'm a walking, talking encyclopedia on this. You know, that's why I forced all this stuff and got out in case they kill me or I die. You know, I mean, when they give you two months to live, the survival rate of this is fucking pretty well zero. Of course I'm going to shove as much as this I can, you know? So these fuckers can't get along, so it's recorded in history. Well, I didn't fucking die. You're going to get your fucking turn. This is a major developing story. And San Onofre, I told you I'd get the fucking waste off there. It ain't going there. I, this proves it. I fucking talk to the DOI. They're admitting it. Yep. We're moving to fucking whip. That's where it's going. And I'm all for the San Onofre waste. But weapons testing in Idaho, those fuckers have a long history of killing people. And they're a fucking, it's a joke up there. There's no media. There's no activists to hold them to the fire. It's me. It's me. KSL in Utah, the August Standard Examiner. We got a corrupt county commissioner who's under investigation by the FBI, fucking stealing hundreds of men. They won't even report that. Right next to my house. 
drains the fucking marsh. I mean, this is so fucking corrupt. It's unrighteous because you fuckers just all go along. I'm not playing. I'm not going along. You can go the fuck along. You can go right the fucking head. And when you get cancer, you can say, God, what the fuck caused that? Oh, I can just smoke someone. No, you're not. You know, there's so much cancer right there in Arco because of these fuckers. Stay in tune.